Hi, in one of the previous tutorials, we studied about concise declaration and we got to know how it helped reducing the code. In this tutorial, we will talk about one scenario where concise declaration is not really useful and we should prefer to use named functions to define the method of object. Have you ever encountered or defined a method like this? Method name colon function function name if not you must watch this tutorial let us have a look at the first example in this example we have an object named obj this object has one method named count to zero its declaration is done in a concise way this is equivalent to count to zero colon function if you are still confused about concise declaration, I would recommend to first click on the link displayed on top right corner to know about the concise declaration in detail. Considering you know about it very well, let's talk about this scenario. So in this example, we can see that count to zero method is called recursively with this keyword. But this keyword, this keyword is actually referencing to this object obj um, let's enable this console statement and let's find out the output okay the output is expected so it is from 10 to 1 this is what we were expecting okay this means that this keyword is actually referencing to obj object and is recursively calling to its method count to zero Let's now try to see if we drop this keyword, will it still work? Okay, let me drop this keyword. So let me uh, disable this statement and let's call it without this keyword. Mm, okay, it says it says count to zero is not defined. Why it says count to zero is not defined? Because in this case, this is trying to execute a function count to zero rather than an object count to zero of obj object. So that's why it is not working because count to zero function is not defined. Okay, let's see whether this is right or not. So let's try to enable a global function count to zero. So we can see that count to zero function has been executed once. That's why we have output 10 over here so let's disable this example and move to the next example to see whether this keyword works in every scenario or not so let's enable it if we enable it we can see so this is exactly the same uh, example the only difference is that its logic is within set timeout now now within set timeout this refers to windows object so this is how this works this keyword actually refers to the object in context of which the code is running so in this case within set timeout the code always runs in context to the windows objects so this means this keyword is basically trying to access windows dot count to zero here which is not available to solve this problem we take a reference of this into a variable self and then we use self in place of this so if we do that we get the expected output to avoid this kind of confusion and to make it obvious recursive function uh, we have a third example so let's see what do we have in third example so in third example we are actually defining the method like this method name colon function function name now what is this so this is basically a named function count to zero so we are not using an anonymous function and taking its reference into the methods so we are creating a named function this time and taking its reference into this method name as well so in this case when we call count to zero it actually calls this function it does not call count to zero method but it calls count to zero function to check that what we can do is we can change its name to say two and 
so you can see there is a there is an error count to zero is not defined and now if I change its name to two then you can see that it is working as expected so this was all about when should we use named function instead of using the concise declaration of a method thanks for watching my video if you like my videos please subscribe my channel bye bye